All right, welcome back guys. Uh, today we're going to collect one of my event runes and we're gonna roll it. And we're gonna hope that it turns out the way everybody wants it to, which is a quad roll. Um, but here's the rune. It's pretty good, it's not perfect. Um, in terms of the three stats I want, it's got a perfect speed roll, which took me forever to change the power-up stats into double speed into 18. Took like 300 coins, which was a lot. Um, but anyway, we got the 18. It's got a perfect attack roll, and then it's got a one-off perfect crit roll. Um, those three stats I like a lot. The accuracy roll of five is not great, um, but I looked at the odds of being able to roll a rune with a perfect speed, um, stats you'll accept, and then another perfect roll, which is my attack roll, and it was super low, like 1,500 coins or something like that. And I was like, okay, close enough. We're gonna gamble a little bit with accuracy. Um, so what I want to have happen is I would love for it to completely miss accuracy altogether. I would love for all the rolls to go into speed, attack, and crit rate. So hopefully that'll happen. Um, any rolls in accuracy are a bit of a disappointment. So the number one thing I want to have happen is to double roll into speed. Uh, the number two thing I want to have happen is high rolls into anything that isn't accuracy. Um, we need to dodge that accuracy so we can replace it with something we want more like HP. Um, last place would be a double roll into accuracy. That'd be my absolute worst case scenario. Um, or even a single roll would be slightly less bad, but double roll into accuracy would be bad. The nice thing about these runes is that since I've already rolled to the plus six, I only have two more rolls and I have three more stats. So no matter what, one of these three stats I'm going to be able to gem out. I would like it to be accuracy, but if, you know, my roll goes one into attack, one into speed, then it'll be accuracy. If it goes one into speed, one into accuracy, then maybe I'll reroll the crit rate into HP or something. Um, so a little bit of flexibility there. So let's go ahead and collect it. We're gonna roll it and we're gonna see what happens. Oh, the one thing that I find interesting about these runes, yep, that's the rune. The one thing that's interesting about these runes is that um, it's really gonna kind of change the meta quite a bit. I don't know if that's 100%, all right. Oh my gosh, I almost clicked sell. We're not gonna click sell, we're gonna click okay. And we're gonna go grab it. And what I wanna do is the blind power up where I don't get to see what happens. So let's, let's see, I got a little picture here. Can we put it right there? And that way I won't know, right? And I will not look at my tablet. I'm gonna click the auto power up and then I'm gonna turn it around. Let's do that. All right, here we go. 12, 12. it's exciting. All right, so we're not looking at the tablet. Um, but what's interesting about these runes is that one in 16 people are getting a quad roll. And they have two shots at a quad roll. So the math of two chances to get one in 16, I don't know exactly, but one in 16 people, one, one fourth chance twice. Um, so that's pretty crazy. So the odds normally of a quad roll, quad roll are like one in 256 or something. One over four times, times itself, times itself, times itself. So just the odds of getting a legend rune with a max speed stat and then rolling your first two perfectly into speed is super low and then going all the way to quad is super low so this event is going to radically upgrade the overall speed of the game like it's bizarre how much it's going to affect the game it's going to affect the overall speed of the entire game i think um so everybody's going to get in on it it's crazy one in 16 people that's that's like two people in your guild-ish are gonna get a quad roll speed, which is nuts to think about. So you really, really, really want it to be you, but there's no way to determine. It's just like getting a shiny box. Oh my gosh, we're done rolling. Ah, oh, I can kind of see it. Ah, I spoiled it for myself. I needed to cover it up there, but it was perfect. It was perfect. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, I spoiled my own surprise. Okay, so we rolled perfectly. We rolled a five into speed and a max roll into attack. That's the next best, best thing to a quad roll we could have got, um, honestly. Really, okay, okay, there's there's a couple different results. One, quad roll speed. Any version of quad roll speed would have been better, right? Next best thing is one into speed, which we got. The best version of that is a 24, which we did not get. We got a 23. That's fine. Um, and then a max roll into attack is also super, super, super great because now we can gem out the accuracy with HP um, and just be nuking like crazy so we'll go ahead and use this guy here six we will do it again probably 
Oh, we don't have a... Hmm. I might wait to do the speed until I get a, a red one, because now I've got two that need it. And do I have an HP? Eh, those are both junky. So I haven't done the grinds yet in the event, so maybe I will try to find better grinds in the event. But I mean, look at this thing. That's a rune right there. I mean, if we get... If we get the right kind of gem and grind, I mean, we're looking at 29, five and three is eight, 28 speed. Wow, wow. Just hope, it's weird to say, 28 speed, 22 attack, but we'll have more than that. We'll have 26, right? Because we'll get plus 10, 26 attack, and then somewhere in the realm of like 20 HP percent. It's crazy. Let's look at what we've got going on in this slot. All right, so here's Violent. No, that is not violent. There's violent. Sort by speed. So this is my number one rune at 27, and it's an HP rune, base of 22, right? Then this is my best crit damage rune. You'll notice it says 23, same as the one I just got. There's a big difference, though. Uh, this one is orange, and the other one is white. So you'll notice it's a hero rune that really badly triple rolled into speed, like a really bad triple roll, and I was like, I don't care. I'm going to take it. I'm going to make it the best bad triple roll ever. Um, and I have. I use it on my best monsters for forever. And now this thing is now my best rune ever, ever, ever. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Wow. So, that's crazy. Um, and with this other rune I got the other day, the 24, I mean, my violent set, my best violent set just went through the roof, you know? I mean, this opens up a lot of different options. A lot of different options for a lot of different play styles. Um, so that's really exciting. I'm really excited about that. I don't think there's any, anything else to say there. I'm holding off on my Swift Rune. My Swift Rune is a attack slot 6. Um, until I feel a little more comfortable with the rolls. There's multiple low rolls in stats that I want. Um, whereas this one, I was lucky and I do dodged the accuracy. Um, that rune, I want to hit on the low rolls, which is bad. Um, so... That's it. That's my crit damage rune. It's, I think it's really, really great. I think I've read the stat somewhere. It was a 54% chance you'd get stuck with the 18 that you started with. So 44% chance you would roll once into speed, which I did. So I hit the 44% chance. And then the chances, it varied having, you know, 22 was the minimum roll, 23, which is I got, 24 is the max roll. And then getting into the quad rolls, it's the 1 in 16, so... Whew, okay, Woo, that was good. Man, that's stressful because the, these runes are so important. I, it's hard for me to really realize how... I mean, this these runes, both of them, are nat 5s, if not LD nat 5s. I mean, they're super, super important. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Good luck with your runes. Um, it's stressful, but, you know, it'll be all right. Maybe. <laughs> okay, I will catch you in the next video. Take care, everybody.